Welcome to Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on finding the gravitational potential energy. Okay? And the formula is mass times the gravity constant, which is 9.8 times uh, 9.8 meters per second squared times the height. And what I'll do is I'll work one where we find the gravitational potential energy, then we'll find one with height and mass. So let's get started. Okay. What is the GPE or the gravitational potential energy of a rock two kilo of a rock of two kilograms? when it's 11 meters off the ground. So let's just plug in the formula. We got GPE equals um, mass, which is, let me just write it out, 9.8 times height. Now let's start plugging stuff in. We have the GPE equals, the mass is two kilograms. We know that the constant, and I'm gonna write the units because it's important that you see how the units cancel out and the height is 11 meters okay so now all we do is multiply and I've done this ahead of time 2 times 9.8 times 11 seconds 2 like I said 2 times 9.8 times 11 seconds equals 215.6 now what is your unit of measure of the gravitational potential energy. <clears throat> well, let's figure this out. If you take your units, you multiply kilograms, you only have one of those, you don't have any like terms, and then you take meters times meters, so that's going to become meters squared, and you have seconds squared, and lo and behold, that is a joule. So the unit of measure for uh, gravitational potential energy is a joule. Now, let's work another type of problem. Okay, now let's look at this next problem. It is a light fixture has a mass of 4 kilograms, falls from the ceiling, and strikes the floor with a force of 800 joules. How high was the light fixture? So we're going to use GPE equals mass times the gravity constant, which is 9.8 times the height. So let's do this. Let's start plugging in numbers. Well, we know what the GPE is, and is that is 800 joules. And I'm going to rewrite the joules as kilograms times meters uh, squared, second squared. And then we know the mass, which is 4 kilograms. Ooh, that's a terrible 4. And we know what the gravity constant is, 9.8, and that is um, meters per second squared times, and we're trying to find h. Okay, so now all we do is just solve. First, we need to take 4 kilograms times 9.8, and when you multiply 4 times 9.8, I've already done this ahead of time, it is 39.2. Now, let's look at the units. Okay, so now we have kilogram times meters per second square, and that all equals 800 kilogram times meters squared over second squared. So now all we do is divide. So I'm going to place, divide each side by 39.2. Okay, so divide this by 39.2. Let me bring the units over. We have kilograms. We have meters per second squared. Okay, now let's see what cancels first with units. Kilograms cancel, second squared cancel, and we're left with a meter. Okay, and then I've already done this ahead of time. If you take 800 and divide it by 39.2, it equals 20.408 meters. So there we go. That's how you find the um, height. Now let's work on mass. Okay, a box of paper falls from a shelf that is 4 meters high and strikes the floor with a force of 132.3 joules. How much did the paper weigh? So let's go ahead and use our formula. GPE equals mass times 9.8 times the height. Okay, well, we know the height, which is 4 meters. Okay, we know the 9.8 and the units. Okay, and we don't know meters, and we know that this is 132.3. Okay, so now all we do is start um, solving. 
Uh, I'll add the units to this in just a moment. Okay, so when you take 9.8 times 4, I've already done that. That equals 39.2. And let's remember our units. So we have we can combine meters together. So we have meters squared over seconds squared. Okay. Now let's take 132.3, and that's um, kilograms times meters squared second squared. Now let's divide both sides by 39.2 and the units. Okay. Uh, when we divide this by 39.2, uh, make sure I'm still on here. Let's bring our units over. That is meter squared second squared. These cancel. You're left with kilograms. And 132.3 divided by 39.2 is 3.375 kilograms. So, there we go. I hope that helps in finding the gravitational potential energy. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.